This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Gamers, we do love Pokemon, right? Huh? I mean, this is its not a Pokemon, but as you can see behind me, I've got Pokemon everywhere. I'd like to think that I'm pretty good at with Pokemon knowledge, and maybe you guys are too. So today, my team has turned Pokemon into anime girls. I, I know that sounds weird, but if you guys remember, back in the day on TikTok, you could use uh, this filter to turn anything into anime, and basically they have done that, but with Pokemon. So I have to guess what the Pokemon is based on the image, and you guys can play along see if you got every single one of them correct and if you guys want me to do this again we can do it again but let's jump into it i'm excited i love i mean i love anime obviously i've got anime tattoos up the wazoo and i love pokemon so putting them together it's got to be a banger it's got to be a banger so let's jump into it so there is a scale of difficulty so it's gonna be really easy to start with and eventually get super super hard so let's do this starting off with number one and i mean oh man i i wonder which one this one is it's freaking terrifying is what it is this is definitely charizard and yeah i mean it's charizard but look at the ai one this is crazy it's like a cursed beast it's lost an arm it's now a leaf it's kind of terrifying yeah i mean it's yeah i mean maybe this is what a realistic charizard would look like it, it wouldn't look like this but yeah terrifying let's go to the next one huh i wonder which one this one is this is definitely tentacruel but i mean honestly it's like a mecha tentacruel this 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 could literally be a pokemon uh from like the newest like scarlet or violet the violet one where they have like futuristic pokemon this could literally be that but i mean it looks awesome like i said it's gonna be easy to start with this is tentacruel easy and oh they had to put my favorite pokemon in waylord and they've turned waylord into like a ship like an airplane look at his like his fins are like actual like wings now this is dope i would definitely if i had a, if i was a billionaire a multi-billionaire i would make a blimp and ride it around it would look like this next up hmm i wonder which one this is yeah this is um oh i don't know there's an anime girl in there I don't know why, uh, but yeah, this is definitely Rayquaza. Yeah, this is, that's pretty easy, but I don't know how they got an anime girl in there. I guess like the, the mouth was like red and they're like, oh, the AI or whatever they use. I was like, it's probably a, a, an anime girl. Yes, of course. It's weird how it turned into like a mechanized Rayquaza. It's, I mean, it's kind of dope. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, up next. Oh my, that's cursed. Oh my God. I mean, we already know which one it is. This is Kabutops, but I, I do appreciate that it's like, it's like hands holding onto like wings or paper or something like some cloth. But why is that's fine. But why is the head like a fish head? But like the body is like clearly like an anime girl. I, I, I don't know, but it, it's Kabutops, but it, it, it's cursed. This is cursed. Um, yeah, cursed, cursed images. Now, are you guys in need of a website that can represent your brand, your business, whatever you want to do? And Squarespace is the place for you. With Squarespace, you can sell services online, schedule appointments, you can sell products. And did I mention to make those websites? It's super easy because they have templates already ready and available for you to use. We're all video creators. We're all creators here. So I would be ashamed for me not to mention the fact that Squarespace has amazing tools to help you become the best creator that you can be. Easy video creation, customized for you, resize and share anywhere. I'm definitely not just reading what's on the website that you can do in the link in the description. As always, guys, thank you Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Go to squarespace.com for a free trial. When you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Alex Ace and add code Alex Ace at checkout to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. Okay, the difficulty is going to start ramping up here, so make sure you're ready. I mean, we're all Pokemon fans, so I think we're, this is this is going to be easy. We should make an impossible version, but we're going to do the next one here. And oh, I mean, it's pretty obvious based on the colors. This is definitely Gardevoir, but man, this is actually like a really good like one like a really cute anime girl i could totally see this being from like an actual anime though like this one's pretty nice okay so i thought it was gonna get harder but it, yeah this is definitely <laughs> i could tell because of the silhouette but it is so incredibly cursed because you could you have the head which is uh an anime girl and then you have this like weird side piece which is blastoise you can tell it's blastoise there's literally water squirting out of this like bare head cursed but if if that was like something else i would have been like i don't know but it, this is blastoise all right what's up next oh my god 
<laughs> what the heck is this? Um, I mean, let's be honest, guys. This is obvious. The silhouette is there again. I feel like we have to make this harder. We have to like paint stuff behind the silhouettes or something. This is Dark Rai, one of my favorite legendaries. Um, but it's weird how they turned it into like an anime girl wearing like an like an outfit. Uh, but you know what? Fine. Sure. That's a it's just a, it's a bit strange. I mean, it could be worse. Could be worse. OK, up next. What do we got here? Oh, that's that's bad. That's so bad. Oh, it's so cursed. Everything. Every single one of these is actually cursed. But that is low punny. I had a feeling like it was coming, but wow, that is not what I expected at all. <laughs> what the heck is that, dude? Let's just go. Let's just go to the next one. Go to the next one. And this one. Oh my God. Giga Chad. I think we know which one this one is. This is Machamp. I, I mean, my God. I, I wonder what gave it away. Maybe the extra pair of arms behind, but this is handsome, handsome Giga Chad Machamp or something. It, it, it looks really funny though. Honestly, they gave they gave him some drip, you know, a dope crown, dope clothes. They gave him some drip, I gotta admit. Okay, apparently we are now scaling up in difficulty once again. Let's see the next image. And oh, this is a floating head. Okay, like anime hair. Try, I, I feel bad because I think I know which one it is based on the silhouette. If I just pretend like everything's not there and I look at the silhouette, I'm pretty sure that's Gengar's silhouette. Pretty sure, just like the hair, the five spiky spikes. Pretty sure that's Gengar. And is it Gengar? It is indeed Gengar. We got that one, that's easy. I, I like like I said, I feel bad looking at the silhouette. I'll have to make sure that's different next time because it's kind of easy, but I, I mean, this one looks crazy. Apparently, my team has also given us a cursed version of Gengar. So here we go. And oh my God, that is. Yeah, that's cursed. Holy crap. I definitely would have gotten this one for sure that this is Gengar because you can see like the mouth, the eyes. But my God, it's terrifying. Um, I'm good. Next. Next. OK, here we go. And oh, <laughs> this one's cool. This one's dope. This is definitely, I mean, it's one of the most humanoid Pokemon. This is Sock. Sock. So Sock. I don't know how to pronounce it. But this one actually looks like it could be from like a show or something. Like it's like a, like a dojo girl getting ready for something. I don't know, but it's pretty obvious who it is. Yeah, that, it's pretty obvious, but this one's cool. I would, if you're not a veteran Pokemon fan, you would not be able to get this one. Okay, now we're in expert mode difficulty. Let's see what we got up next. I think I know which one this is based on, just based on, of course, the silhouette. It's so hard to not notice the silhouette when I know that it's there. I'm almost positive that this is Hariyama because I mean, come on, look at look at look at them thighs. Hariyama's got some them thighs, but like the anime lady princess kind of throws me off. Is it Hariyama? It is. Let's go easy up next. What do we got here? Oh, huh? Uh, OK, this is just like straight up an anime girl. There is something hanging off of her neck, but I don't know which one this is man you guys probably already know it too like the experts in the chat in the chat this is not a live video i don't know why i said chat but the you experts you know which one this one is i actually have no idea uh let's throw a guess out there is it Galate? i don't know why i'm saying Galate. i don't think it is and it's meloetta oh dang it dude i should have realized that thing hanging off is is like the uh Gosh dang it, dude. All right, well, we got one wrong. I didn't get a perfect score. Let me know in the comments. Did you get that one right? No, no cheating. No cheating, but that one's that one was hard. OK, what do we have next? Oh, another anime lady, another anime girl. It's just a head with a very interesting hat. I think I know which one this one is. I feel like the hat almost gives it away. That pose with no arms, no limbs. It's definitely Hatterina, Hatterina or whatever from the new from Sword and Shield. Is that correct? And it is too easy. We got that one. OK, what do we have here? This is just straight up an, an anime lady. I have no no idea. Um, I feel bad looking at the silhouette, but I don't even know if this is helping me. Uh, I'm thinking like a water type, a water type Pokemon because it's blue colors. I think it's based on the color palette. 
Lapras could be Lapras, you know. I'm gonna I'm gonna lock it in. We're saying Lapras. I don't know why. Is it Lapras? And it's not. It is Nido Queen. Oh, that makes so much more sense. That makes more sense. Wow. Should have realized with like the freaking toes on the bottom. I don't know why I thought Lapras. I was like blue, maybe. I am not sure. That's hey, we're at the hardest difficulty now in the video, so it kind of makes sense. We've got two more left. Let's see what we got. Actually, three more. Oh my goodness. Hey, yo, they got Booba. We got Booba. I I think I'm getting pranked here. I think this is Gardevoir again. I think this is Gardevoir again. I'm locking it in. Like the pose is literally the same. And I can see the silhouette of like the the dress. Is it Gardevoir? And it is. I knew it. I knew it, my team. I, I, you can't even you can't even prank. It's green. The dress is there. It's Gardevoir. Easy. That's a trick question. <coughs> All right, up next. Oh my God. What the hell is this? What the hell? I, yeah, this is impossible difficulty. Try not to look away impossible difficulty because it's so cursed. But this is definitely Rush Ram. You can tell with the wings. This one was honestly kind of easy, but it is definitely the most cursed one we've seen so far. It's like some terrifying morph creature. And yes, it was Rush Ram. Okay, we've got one left this is the hardest one that they could come up with let's see what we got and oh uh i i don't even know okay there's no legs it's like a floating thing could be like a ghost pokemon miss Revis? miss magius oh that shape in the middle is so bizarre i'm gonna lock in i i Dude, I actually don't know. I'm gonna say Misdreavus. Just cause like that, or Togekiss, it could be Togekiss. I'm locking Togekiss in. I think that is like a perfect body shape there. It fits in like perfect. Let's lock it in. I'm saying the last one Togekiss, guys, lock in your votes right now in the comments. Let's go three, two, one, and it is bro what no oh my god it's a freaking clown ultra beast i don't even know the name i don't what is the name of the clown ultra beast i actually don't even know it is uh it is blasphion yeah this is that's you know what fair play i would have never guessed that in my life but guys that is it that is pokemon their anime girls and we have deciphered them let me know if you want me to do this again in the future Obviously, there are so many more Pokemon we can do, and we can meet, we can make it way harder, I think. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed. If you played along, how'd you do? My team and I have been messing with AI a lot, so it's been a ton of fun. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the little game we were playing. Thank you for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one, and goodbye.